Are you looking for more information about downtown Naples, Florida? Well, you're watching the right video because that's exactly what I'm gonna talk about next. Hey there, Alex Bellin here with MVP Realty and NaplesBuyersClub.com and today I am going to talk about downtown Naples, Florida. It is a reciprocating phenomenon. Downtown Naples thrives off of people just as much as people thrive off of downtown Naples. It is a bustling hotspot and a labyrinth of tourist activities that attract a global audience. The all-encompassing quality of the nature, art and urbanism is what makes downtown Naples so unique and unlike anything else in the world. There are many popular destinations and many hidden gems, along with places of historic and cultural value, all packed into a compact area that can be easily navigated. This is your guide to all things downtown Naples, and how to have the best experience when visiting. But before we dive right in, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I post a new videos and I post new videos like this every single week. Having originated in the 1920s as a quaint commercial district, downtown Naples was later developed into a global attraction by adding dining, shopping and entertainment to the already existing real estate. Today, the posh ambience of the area is much talked about and there is much more to downtown Naples than what meets the eye. So let's start by talking about the architecture. The architecture in downtown Naples is timeless and it looks as if it came straight out of an editorial piece in a dainty travel magazine. If you ever do visit downtown Naples, make sure you don't spend your entire time gawking at buildings because you will definitely be inclined to do so. Small and picturesque buildings cascade along the sidewalks, creating a silhouette full of harmonious color and synergy. While most of the architecture is very akin to downtown Naples, some of it also boasts European characteristics. No matter what, the architecture in downtown Naples is truly to be marveled upon. Some of the buildings in 3rd Street Naples fully retain their 1930s charm and their pretty facades resembling a nostalgic Polaroid. Let's talk about 5th Avenue, 3rd Street and the beach next. Being compact makes downtown Naples easy for patrons to move from one place to another. Two of the city's most popular tourist attractions are 3rd Street and 5th Ave, both of which happen to be within walking distance from each other and the beach. The best thing about downtown Naples area is the beach, which can be reached by taking the sidewalk, then following a small boardwalk, which finally leads to the pristine white sugar sand beach with calm waters, tropical winds and palm trees, which emulate the quintessential vacation atmosphere. 5th Avenue Naples is known for its plethora of bars, restaurants. Most restaurants will have tables and chairs spilling on the sidewalk where customers can sit in the warm and calm night breeze and enjoy a delicious meal prepared with locally sourced ingredients. Fifth Avenue Naples is also home to some of the best hotels in the area. Elegant shops, while some new and some native to the area, sell home decor, jewelry and clothing. Just a few streets away resides the highly coveted Third Street Naples. While it is home to many other enjoyable activities, Third Street Naples is is highly renowned because it boasts an amalgamation of high-end boutiques from all over the world. Brands such as Tommy Bahama have flagship boutiques in many of the original 1930 buildings that adorn the 3rd Street South Street. As mentioned before, what sets 3rd Street Naples apart from the other attractions of downtown Naples is its immaculately maintained architecture from the 1930s that almost makes one feel like they travel back in time in all the right ways. Shops after shops sell exclusive jewelry, fashion, and luxury home decor pieces. Nestled between the shops, there are charming cafes that sell fresh gelato, exclusive wines, and indulgent cuisine to fulfill hunger pangs while shopping. Every Saturday, 3rd Street also becomes home to a farmer's market where local produce and fresh seafood of the highest quality are being sold. Imagine all of this small town glory right on the Gulf of Mexico 
with this beautiful tropical climate. Suddenly, one can't think of anything better. Next, let's talk about the Naples Pier, situated on the west end of 12th Avenue. The Naples Pier is also just a small walk from the luxury of 5th Ave and 3rd Street. Built in the 1800s, the Naples Pier was destroyed many times over and rebuilt every single time. The Naples Pier boasts immense historical and cultural value to the area. Visitors can buy fishing supplies from the concession stand because fishing is allowed on the pier. However, the lucky ones are able to witness a spectacular acrobatic show of dolphins swimming in the water close to the shore. If one wants to step off the wood of the pier and treat their feet to some pillowy sand, the pier stairs lead to the glorious white sugar sand beach beneath. Another landmark that you must visit when you're in downtown Naples is Tin City. Now, a series of waterfront boutiques and restaurants, Tin City did not originate that way. The city was built in the 1920s as a series of corrugated tin roofed buildings to serve as a sea transport and boating hub. The tin city in Naples currently boasts more than 30 independent waterfront boutiques, restaurants and many other activities for people of all ages. The unique shopping district boasts immense historical and cultural value for the locals and its energy and spirit needs to be seen to be believed. Downtown Naples with its small town charm and sophisticated looks will always be a timeless tourist attraction. Perfect for families, couples and individual travelers alike, people find it hard to leave downtown Naples once they've seen its beauty in person. Luxury, shopping, food, architecture and tropical climate all right next to a beautiful beach, downtown Naples is a vacation spot not to be missed. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope you liked this video and if you did feel free to like, share and subscribe as I post new videos like this every single week. Thanks again, see you next time.